his head will stay up a little bit higher. Other than that, he's pretty cool looking. I will say that. Actually, I want to see real quick how this hooks into his back. Okay, so there is just a little piece right there that this hooks right into. Okay, he looks good with the sword. He'd look better if his head was up with the sword. Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Future Trunks! This is a Dragon Ball Super figure from Bandai. It's a Dragon Stars figure. It's an older one. It is part of the Build-A-Figure uh, Broly uh, wave back in 2018. So finally getting a lot of these older Dragon Stars figures. I think they're still cool. Uh, really don't have a Broly. Would like to get a Broly by buying, you know, some of the older figures, you know, I think that's kind of a cool value. A lot of these I've been able to get on warehouse deals. I don't believe this might have been. We'll find out if the barcode's covered up or not. I can't remember if this is a warehouse deal or not. But there's the front of the box. Let's flip around to the backs. I don't think this was a warehouse deal. I think this one I just bought from us from Amazon. Um, they still had it in stock, or somehow still had it in stock, but as it doesn't have. Usually if it's from another seller, they'll have that all uh, covered up on the barcode. But there's the back. Flip it to the side. There's trunks. And there's the window. And the top is Dragon Stars. The older ones have that silver look where the newer ones are just white. The bottom is your Dragon Ball Super logo. Let's sit it right here, pull the camera back, get a closer look at everything, and then we'll get it completely unboxed. 4 Plus Bandai. Warning. There is your Dragon Ball Super logo, and there's Broly's leg, and then you get, of course, Future Trunks, and it comes with a sword, and then one that's uh, already in his holster. I guess you can't pull one out. I don't know how that works. I guess it's just for show when it's on his back. We'll see. And then some extra hands. Yes, they used to come with four hands instead of, well, they had four, and then it kind of went to three. Now, mostly, you just get two extra hands with Dragon Stars. There's the bottom where everything was nice and silvery back in the early times with Dragon Stars. And there's Dragon Ball Super. These are Series 8. So, yeah. A little older. I don't have that. No, I do have that Vegito. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I have the Vegito that's Super Saiyan. I need that Vegito to complete the Broly. I do have this Vegeta. I don't have Gohan. I have this. I have this. And I have this. But I need those two. So I can get to Broly. So keep an eye out for those so I can build Broly. And actually, Goku Black I have and will be opening, unboxing that neck. That'll be the next uh, Dragon Stars figure that I unbox. There's that Broly. All the different numbers, just like Marvel Legends, to build Broly. The figures you need to buy to get the parts. So that's pretty cool. And there's your bottom legalese and barcode. I will zoom it in to the barcode if you need it for anything. All right, let's set it here, uh, tilt the camera down. Let me grab my X-Acto knife, X-Acto knife to cut those two pieces of tape. While I'm doing that, just want to say if you're enjoying this video, if you give it a like, if you enjoy action figures, unboxings, toy hunts, um, shelf tours, go ahead and subscribe to Hey With That On My Shelf and get that all on your feed. If you have a fun comment, that's also very, very welcome. All right, with that said, let's see if I can finish this tape. There we go. Can't chew gum and cut things at the same time. All right, let's see. I'm not even chewing gum. Just can't even cut things. Let's see if this will pop out. I know this is just a little tab. I just don't want to rip it. I don't see any tape on it or anything. Oh, I ripped it a little bit. Not too bad. Oh, and then I rip it real bad. Oh my gosh, I thought I was, I thought I was out of the trouble zone and I go ahead and rip it anyway. Oh well, so I was planning on keeping this box it's in such good shape until I get a hold of it, I guess. All right, there he is. Trunks. Don't get him out of this. And there's your energy background. It's the blue one. Let's go with the hands first. It's popping out nice. All right. Looks like you got a couple of open hand for for a blast, and then a couple of holdy hands for the weapons. You don't see a whole lot of holdy hands in Dragon Star, so it's kind of cool to get some with this future trunks. I don't see a whole lot of swords either. 
Oh, it's got plastic ties. Interesting. Just on that sword. I wonder if I could just rip it with my hand. Yeah. There we go. There it is. And the other sword came out too. So, okay, it is just like a fake thing that kind of goes inside of there. But can you put the sword in there? No. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. It's like a fake sword holder. I don't know. I can't remember what you call this. I don't know. But the holder, it's got a fakie on the top. That's strange. All right. And then you got your sword here. But I was going to say, I hope they come out with a Gohan at some point. I'm pretty sure they did this in the SH Figure Arts, but a Gohan that comes with a Z sword. I know the Z sword didn't last for long, but it would be cool to have that in as a part of a shelf, action figure shelf. Let's get this uh, leg out. So that's the first part of Broly. We got a leg. Alrighty. And here we go. It's getting a little loud. Not horrible. All right. Oh, I didn't even realize he had a little pants rip right there. Coming from the future, he may need new pants. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I mean, you could tell he's an older one. I have just, there's just something about these older ones where their heads are just way deep down. I don't know if that was part of the look where it looks like they're, you know, because a lot of the anime, they're looking down and, and yelling and, but I kind of wish that it could look up. Oh, well. <clears throat> it just looks like he's got a crick in his neck unless you get him posed just right, you know. If you could get him flying, that would be perfect. But just standing, they look kind of funky always looking down. That's ah, just what I think. Oh, cool. I like his Capsule Corp logo there. Nice. All right. Let's, uh, let's do some articulation here. Let's see. So there's not a whole lot of head movement. Let's pop it off and see what we're dealing with here. There's a ball joint there, and there's actually a ball joint in the bottom of the neck as well. So should be a lot of movement, but there's not. And I think, I don't know why it is. Let's see. Let's pop it back on. Okay. The back hair hits the back of the collar real bad, so there's no back. The forward can't go forward because his chin hits his scarf. Uh, and you barely get a little side to side. So I don't love that. I wish his head could go up. I mean, maybe you could force it up a little bit. That's looking a little better. Really kind of, for maybe mine was just kind of, I don't know. That's looking better. There we go. Just kind of forced it back. I think because his head maybe popped off the ball a little bit. But whatever I did, that's better. Maybe the ball joint came out of down there a little bit, but pushing it back, I'm not even going to try to move it because I like it like that. It looks so much better to me. Cool. The arms, you got a peg going in on a rocker. So on these, you can kind of, there's a lot of space in between the Dragon Stars so you can see that peg going in. But yeah, it moves where it needs to go. Um, just don't leave it in a funky spot and you won't really see that gap too bad. It's got a bicep cut, so spin it right there. It's just a peg. And you got double jointed elbows. Um, they do have pins, but all the Dragon Stars do. And then you've got a ball joint on a rocker there for the hand. The feet are the same. Um, for the body, it looks like you've got a ball joint. Oh, see his head just fell off because I had it pulled off. I almost want to just put some sticky tack in there and just leave it like that. I think it looks way better. But when you pop it on, he's stuck doing the... That's just my opinion. Some people may really like the way it looks, and I think, you know, if you get the pose just right, it could look cool with the head like that. But for me, I don't know. It's not my favorite. Um, yeah, so we got a ball joint in the waist. Right, yeah, so you got a little bit of back, a little bit of front, not a lot, it kind of just keeps popping back side to side, but it's mostly going to be for spinning. The legs, you got a, a, a ball joint down inside of there. And it allows for a kick out to the side of there. Not great. Forward. Ugh. Not great either. If you go too far, they pop up. That's it. That's not great. And <clears throat> I mean, bad. For a figure that's supposed to know uh, martial arts, 
not a fantastic kick forward. Like I said, these are early in the, in the early in the line. I feel like these figures have gotten way better over time, and you can this is just kind of a, uh, a look at why because of things like that. Uh, you do still have the uh, sleeve going in to the leg there that allows for a thigh cut that I just love. Works great. Double jointed knee, of course has the pins. Get you to there. Uh, no boot cut, but you do have a ball joint coming down on a rock there that gets you where you need to go. You just kind of have to finag finagle it to get it where you need, but you can get some pretty cool poses out of him. Yeah, he's cool. Um, the head thing drives me nuts, but I think I can fix it with a little sticky tack in there. Shove, pack it in, and maybe his head will stay up a little bit higher. Other than that, he's pretty cool looking. I will say that. Actually, I want to see real quick how this hooks into his back. Okay, so there is just a little piece right there that this hooks right into. Okay, he looks good with the sword. He'd look better if his head was up with the sword. Um, I'll put the sword in his hand during the posing. So let's set him here. There's the sword. There is the leg o Broly. And his hands. So yeah, I do like that they come with all the extra hands. His holy hands and stuff, so... That's everything that comes in the box of this Future Trunks 2018 figure, Baroli Builder figure. Let's pull these accessories off to the side, and we'll throw some other figures here for scale. Um, let's throw uh, one of the taller figures. Um, we'll throw a cell right here. We'll actually bring the camera up so you can see what's going on. And who else do we have? We've got a couple other figures, of course, Vegeta. Got to throw his dad next to him. And then we gotta have Goku, right? I mean, here it is. That's a pretty good looking crew. All right, there is your future trunks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some posing.